Good evening and welcome to the school committee meeting of Monday, September 14th. We'll start with the acceptance of the minutes for the meeting of August 24th, 2020. Motion to accept. Second. Um, Mr. Mills, you were not here, so Bye. we're going to have you abstain. Okay. Okay. Um, we have a I motion. I will vote, I can make a motion. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure I was second, right yes. on that. Right. A motion, and we have a second? Okay. All those in favor? I will abstain. Thank you. And then we'll go to the minutes of the executive session on the meeting of August 24th. Motion to accept. Second. All those in favor? Abstain. That's the four of us again, and Tom's yeah. abstaining. And then the meeting um, for September 4th, the minutes. Motion to accept. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And that's yeah. the five yeah. of us. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Nothing under communication or audience. We'll go to Dr. Cron for the superintendent's report. Thank you very much. As um, many of you know, today was the first day of remote learning. Um, attendance was excellent. We had some connectivity issues um, with some kids getting kicked off and getting back on and things like that. Um, but we worked out uh, a number of those. Um, our nursing staff seems to be doing well and um, we're working hard to support them with the PPE that they need. And just overall, there were a lot of thumbs up and smiling faces around the district today. So thank you to the teachers and the administrators um, for all of your hard work that made today such a success with our kids. Um, we had professional development um, last week and feedback was very, very positive. We did sessions across the district on Google Classroom, Google Meet, cybersecurity, um, hybrid learning best practices, connections and equity among others. Um, we had student orientation uh, going on last week and they went extremely well. Also, um, again, want to congratulate and thank the principals for their amazing work putting together those orientations at the same time handing out uh, 2,400 Chromebooks, yeah. which in, in and of itself was a feat. So, um, you know, a big shout out to Colleen for Lizzie and Tim Wells on that um, for spearheading the Chromebooks and for Jane Hackett's help as well. Um, but just Tim Wells did just an amazing job getting that together and getting all those Chromebooks out to students. So we want to thank them. Um, special education, just a little update. I met this week, this past week with Michelle Kippenham, who's the president of the Rockland SPED PAC, the Rockland CPAC. And just to remind everyone, I began to meet monthly with Michelle last year, just to develop and maintain an open line of communication between myself and our special education families and students. Um, we have a lot of work to do with special education in the coming weeks and months. Uh, again, especially given the COVID situation and how it has impacted our special education, our 504 and our English language learner students. Um, we want to make sure that we're, we're uh, caring for them exceptionally well uh, as we start the school year. So I was glad to meet with Michelle and have conversations and she gave me some some good ideas and we're, we're going to continue our discussion so I thank her. Um, also teacher evaluation is a big topic of conversation. Um, Colleen for Lizzie and I will meet with the union this week to have our first conversation about teacher evaluation. Desi put out some guidance last week which recommends a number of focus indicators and practices so I assume um, that we'll have good conversations with the union and come up with our own, um, what we want to adopt as focus indicators. I'm sure that they will mirror um, what DESE has put forward. They're very logical. But essentially what we're trying to do is shift our focus or, or pivot might be a better word to highlight the work that needs to be done in the area of remote teaching and learning. Um, we want those skills for, of our teachers to be as high as possible. We want the skills of our students to be as high as possible in those areas too. And obviously the connectivity issues are something that we will continue to monitor. Um, so teacher evaluation is on the agenda for this week with the union. And then finally, had a nice surprise. Um, Harry Holbrook and his family popped into the office last week. And as you know, Harry is making 
um, ear, what, what do we call them? Ear savers. Ear things, ear things? Ear, ear savers. savers. Ear savers, thank you. Um, and what's so interesting about this is Harry began printing these on his, as you know, on his own personal 3D printer in his house. And he said it would take him, um, he could make about six of them per day. Well, since then, Harry has, he was contacted by a Marshfield manufacturing company who is turning out 2,000 masks per week on Harry's behalf. Oh. So I, I, uh, Harry's getting a little taste of what it means to be uh, playing Monopoly with real, real money. He's dealing, <laughs> dealing with the manufacturers now, and uh, I, I'm very excited to see um, where Harry goes with this and, as, as he grows older, because he is just a fascinating kid, and, and we're very lucky to have him in Rockland. So uh, that's all I have tonight. Great, thank you, Dr. Carl. Yeah. I have a quick question. Absolutely. What was that? Um, what was the con I'm moving on to, and that is all good news. Oh. Say it again, Tom. I, I had a quick question. What was the connectivity rate when you put the students on? What, percentage, what, what was the percentage of connectivity with the students today? I, I couldn't give you a percentage. That's a okay. great question, though, Tom. But we, I will get those numbers for you. Yeah, I think we should. Well, could, yeah. Okay. We're, starting with, we're starting with attendance and um and then we're gonna really start to peel down to you know want to make sure that every kid is connected right and, and and then start to really get at some of the connectivity issues and the timing issues that i think we're uncovering already even though it was only the first day all right so. uh, can we can we record if they stay connected i mean i don't want them to you know what i'm thinking of is that let me connect to attendance and See you later. Right. Yeah. I, I, I don't know, Colleen, if you have anything to add on this, but I, I think that we, we're asking and requiring essentially that all students keep their cameras on. And okay. I know that that's not the case everywhere, but we are. Yeah. Um, I think it makes a big difference having that additional visual. So right. yeah. I don't know, Colleen, if you have any insights as to how that's going for the teachers. It's only the first day. I just you know, what I'm looking for is maybe just track it for at least the, the next couple of weeks and see what you know. And then if yeah. it, you know, and if it's good, then you know you can drop it off. Yeah, it's a great idea. Okay. Uh, and that's uh, oh yeah, and then, yeah. That, Colleen, that's, that's what Colleen, I got. Thank you. Colleen, we can't hear you. You're not on mute though. Can, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, sorry. Right. I can't hear her. I can see her talking. Right. She's giving me a thumbs up. Do you okay. want to call on your phone you, or call one of us? No, she's saying. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I walked with um, Ms. Lizzie today and the teachers were very, very excited and pleased with the connectivity rate, um, with the attendance rate, with the connectivity rate. What was happening a little bit, Tom, was people were getting um, they were coming in and then getting kicked out. Right. And then getting kicked out there, some of those. So I think, like, I, I don't know if you're, you know, here you are on the tour of my house where I'm on the third room that I've been Zooming from. Connectivity seems to change with the weather. It will, <laughs> yeah. The room in my house gets good. Um, it, it will also, it will, it, yeah, it will also change with the, the number of, you know, connections and what the traffic right. is like, too. Right, so I think both, I think families are finding better spots within their houses as well uh, to be connected. That's probably. Still no I call. Think, I think too, the more people in the house online, which is what I think a lot of us are finding, we're sort right. of all still home and now we're all online. Yep. That it's adding to it as well. Yeah, it will. That traffic, yep. this, 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 but it's, it's like, you know, the routers are traffic cops anyways. And they say, oh yeah, okay, I'll give you some time, I'll give you some time. That's all it is, you know, you know. And the more right. activity you have, the, you know, the more traffic and the less connectivity you are. The less response time, the response time will suffer. Go ahead, that, sorry. That's okay, thanks for your knowledge. I think that this is all, you know, part of the plan, right? Part of trying to figure out the bugs before yep. we really get into this. Go ahead, Mr. Biggins. Thank you for raising your hands like a polite student here on the screen. <laughs> I was uh, 
I was <laughs> observing the etiquette uh, for my own children at home today. So I'm trying. To <laughs> so not so much a question or anything, but just a comment. Just not so much even about the first day of remote learning today, but over the last week of um, orientations and uh, and such. It, I just can't really speak highly enough of how how well it's gone. I mean, it's certainly not an ideal situation. I mean, no one ever saw us going through any of this and we sat back and picked plans and we agreed that none of them were really good ones. But, um, you know, just observing my own household throughout the last week and talking to friends and, you know, colleagues around town, uh, people couldn't be more impressed with the way that, um, that the um, orientations were handled. The communication has been, um, has been uh, rendered throughout the district. Um, and from my observation today, the first day of remote learning went really, really well. A couple of little hiccups in my own house, connectivity wise today, but I, I think it was on our end. Um, you know, I think there's gonna be some bumps in the road, obviously with this stuff as we go forward. But as far as the first day goes, it just seems for me from my 10,000 foot view that aside from the minor connectivity issues that things went remarkably well today. And um, I think that's, you know, a lot of kudos to go around everybody right down from you know, maintenance to custodial cafeteria with the for, with the lunches that are being distributed to kids throughout town, uh, yep. to the teachers that are fumbling through their way through something that they've never done before, um, to administration who worked right through the summer to figure out what this might look like today. Um, it, it just a really bad situation that really was made um, just as attenuable and good as possible. So great job, everyone all the way around from students all the way up. The other thing too, it, it just uh, eliminates snow days. Well, that's it. Uh, we were theorizing about that too, Tom. I wonder if that's going to be the case down the road. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, kids. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Any other comments? I can hear you, Colleen. Yes, oh, you I can. heard you. <laughs> I just, I just want to say that I sent a connect out um, and to all the families today that if they're having problems with their connectivity or their um, Chromebooks to, I gave them directions on how to go on the Rockland Public School site, hit menu, and then click on um, trouble ticket, Chromebook trouble ticket. Right. Okay. Awesome. Thanks for adding that. I actually meant to write that down to say that you sent that email out that um, if you didn't get that email to certainly reach out to your teachers or your principals, and that is true, to start a trouble ticket um, if you're having any trouble, for yeah. sure. Um, and I believe that the teachers are going to sort of understand this week. I don't think the teachers are, you know, um, cracking the ruler down just yet. I think that we all are sort of going to bump down this road together. Um, so I saw a few things about teachers commenting this and that. Um, this week is a learning week. So we're going to go down together. Um, all right. So I'm going to move on with no other comments. Thanks, Colleen. Um, we'll move to reports. Um, the school newsletter for September, we have Jefferson School and the Rockland High School. Um, I myself was excited to see some colorful reports along with some activity with the students, teachers, and the faculty um, being back in the schools. Anyone else have any comments? Nope, ma'am. Nope. <laughs> okay, moving on to old business, our revised calendar for 2020-2021. Dr. Cron. Do you yeah. have anything? Yeah, I added two additional um, professional development days. I guess I figured I could sneak them in past the union, but I didn't get away with it. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, <laughs> I made a mistake on the calendar. I apologize. We had to swap out two days, but it does end the school year two days early. Um, end okay. the school year two days early. And it just takes away two um, professional development days and makes them classroom days. So very a very little change, but a change nonetheless. Which ones are they? Do you have it? Do you, have, do you have it decided yet? The nineteenth, ten nineteen, or what's that? Ten nineteen. Yeah. Go ahead, Doctor. No, go. You go ahead. I'm not. I don't have it right in front of me. Ten nineteen and yeah, May twenty fourth. One twenty five. One twenty five. Yep. Oh. Maybe it's not May twenty. Maybe I'm wrong. No, you are right. right. Yes, I was you're right. right. Right on TV, I was right. <laughs> um, so that changes the end of the school year back to June 21st as well. Correct. Yeah. I have okay. a question. Oh, oh good. Sure. Go ahead, Emily. Um, I see that it's only color coded to the beginning of January 2021. 
will a new calendar be released if it were still in hybrid mode? Yeah, I pressed the principals. We the senior, I pressed the principal senior leadership team to go beyond that, and they said, you know, by then we think there are going to be some changes. There could be a lot of changes, so we didn't want to get into assigning weeks beyond um, really the the winter break. Um, but I think we'll probably release that, say, in early November, as early as we can for parents, so they'll know as, as much ahead of time. But essentially, we're going to keep um, going, you know, week on, week off. Uh, if you do the math on the time between the beginning of the school year and the 22nd, I believe it's 28 days for one cohort and 29 for the other. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're even at this point. Thank you. Right. Any other questions? Nope. Okay. May I have a motion to approve? Motion to accept the calendar. Second. As adjusted. Second. Yes. Emily second seconding. All those in favor? Aye aye. Aye. That's the five of us. Great. Thank you. On to new business. We have fundraisers. All the PACs are working together for the Bulldog Project for, it's gonna start now in September. I have my picture. Um, they're hoping to raise some money towards all of the PACs. I don't know if you can see this, here I am. Oh yeah, the so Apple Project. Are these wooden signs? I think you've seen them. I know I have one on my front door from Rustic Marlin um, in Hanover. And so the, you'd be able to pick these, one of these three. That clear? Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, so reach out to your packs. I'm sure information will be coming home. Um, let me see what the price is. I think they're twenty dollars. Uh, I read somewhere it's twenty dollars per sign. Okay, I think I heard that as well. I think you're right, Emily. Um, so I think they're cool. So hopefully some bulldog pride will go around town, and um, some apples for our teachers. Oh. Do you know if these can be purchased online or at the, or the, is it just through the pack? I know they have the kiosks, Emily. I can ask and let you know if our sign will be at the kiosks or if they just go directly through the pack. I'm not sure how they then get the money back to the school if they sell them that way. Um, yeah. Nicole O'Brien is who I've been hearing about it from. She is our Jefferson pack um, person. So this is a really good picture of it. Oh yeah, that one. Oh, yeah. It looks like it's like a stand that almost goes right at the school. Yeah, Every I've been to the one in Hanover. It's like a self-service yeah. um, situation. You can either do Venmo or cash in that little box and then you take your right. sign. That's awesome. Right. So I was just wondering how they're going to do it for the pack. But I think it's um, a great idea. I think it's a great idea too. So why don't we find out more information too and maybe next in two weeks we'll be able to talk a little bit more about it. But um, I don't know if we get the kiosk at the school or how that works. I do we'll find out some more information. Right. May I have a motion to approve? Motion to approve the fundraisers. Uh, second. All those in favor? Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Captain, that's the five of us. And then we'll go on to public service announcements. We're, we're not in our line tonight. I'll start with you, Mr. Mills, since you're up in the top corner here. <laughs> <All right. laughs> on well, my screen. Um, it's the start of a new school year. I know it's, uh, it's gonna be a little different, you know, to say the least, but just try to deal with it. If you have any questions, any concerns, connectivity, assignments or anything like that, talk to your teacher or talk to somebody about it. That's, uh, that's my, words of wisdom to students, you know, just keep, keep trying and keep at it. And, uh, we'll work through this, you know, that's it. That's it. Thank you, Mr. Mills. Mrs. Davidson. <laughs> Can't hear you. Uh -oh. Can't hear you. No. Um, just to stay positive, stay healthy and a big thank you to all the staff. Yeah. That's all I have. Okay. Thank you. Mrs. Hennessy. 
I'm uh, going to reiterate what uh, uh, Tom and Emily have already said, just to, to we got through day one, um, 179 more to go. Uh, I know we're very excited to reconnect um, and we thank the administration and the staff um, and the teachers for all their hard work. And um, as Tom said, if you are encountering any trouble, um, reach out. Don't yeah. don't in <laughs> and don't brood about it. <laughs> don't wait. Just uh, be proactive because uh, we're all in it together. So. Yeah. And I can't buy my sign or all three. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Hennessy. Mr. Biggins. Uh, not a whole lot left to say that hasn't been said. Um, just keep being positive. Keep being positive. Hope uh, we this keeps rolling out in the best way it possibly can. We get through the connectivity stuff, but um, sure. keep going on. Keep going on, everyone. Keep working hard. Yeah, that's all yeah. I got. Okay, on to me. I'm going to chat for a second. I actually had the pleasure of attending some professional development last Wednesday on September 2nd. I attended Donna Wilbur her class for ELA overview. It was at Eston School. Um, it was Wednesday morning. It was on phonics and decoding and vocabulary. And I was thoroughly, thoroughly impressed by her herself, her positivity. Um, but then to sit there and see the teachers sort of dig in, roll up their sleeves, and they were ready to get to work. They were ready to teach our students. They were not throwing in the towel. They were definitely determined and they were dedicated. But what I also saw was them together as a team. They were chatting amongst themselves at different points where they had time to, and sort of teaching each other and helping each other and supporting each other. No one was saying, forget this, we can't do this. They were saying, we're, we're dogs and we're gonna win this. And I was so impressed with them. I was impressed with Mrs. Wilbur and I thank you for, thank her for having me. I was sort of unexpected because I wasn't sure what was gonna go on in that day in my own household, but I was able to get out for, <laughs> a little while and go to um, her PD class. I also had the pleasure of attending one in the afternoon at MP um, with Lisa Ryan, Technology for Remote Learning. Um, as same thing, it was with the MP fourth grade teachers in the gym and it was a rainy afternoon and we were not sweating as far as I'm concerned, but um, I did think that it was really cool again to see the teachers band together. They were working in their um, cohorts themselves and sticking together. And the whole thing, the whole day um, made me go home and be, I was so proud that this is what we're part of and our kids get these teachers to teach them. Um, so I wanted to thank Mrs. Ryan as well for having me. Um, and that's all, I feel the same as all of you. I'll be the fifth one to say it. We're all in this together and we will get through this. Yep. Um, and that's all I have. So thank you. Thanks to the teachers and the faculty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Any other comments? They're all nodding no to me. Okay. <laughs> Motion to adjourn? Second. I feel like, okay. <laughs> Can I have a oh, motion yeah. to adjourn? I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Alan's all happy about it. <laughs> motion in a second, did I hear? Yes. 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 Okay. All those in favor? Aye, aye. Aye. That's the five of us. Okay. Good night. Thank all you, right. everyone.